how's it going? What's this about your stealing Leela's boyfriend? The guy asked me to Oxbow's holiday bash, and I said yes. Big whoop. But he was dating Leela. It's a free country. He can date whomever he wants. Look, I don't steal boyfriends, okay? I don't have to. Guys are just naturally attracted to me. I know how conceited that sounds, but it's the truth. Leela had her chance with this guy. She couldn't cut it, so now he's into me. She's just going to have to deal with it. The Missing Book of Stories by Edgar Allan Poe. Do you by any chance know where it is? Uh, no. No offense, but some of the questions you ask are kind of strange. I read your blog on the school website. Oh yeah? You like it? I thought it was awesome. Gotta keep my name out there, you know. And my face. I mean, it's doubtful some rich, powerful person is going to be checking out Waverly's website, but you never know. I'll catch you later. No prob. What? Hey, you got everyone's picture uploaded. Sure did. Fab. Now I need you to lay out the web page. Just get back on the computer, log in, and click on the Meet the Candidates link again. It'll take you to a description of exactly where I want everything to go. No problem. I'll check the page when you're done to make sure everything's kosher. If anything's in the wrong place, I'll leave you a message describing what needs to be fixed. And once the layout is perfect, report back to me because I'll probably have something else for you to do. I knew you were going to say that. In case I forgot to say it before, I'm really grateful for your help. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Don't worry about it. It'll be nice just having you as a friend. Right. Plagiarism? Is that true, or is it just a rumor? That looks right to me. I'm here! Becca! Nice job on the layout. Thank you. What's next? Next, I need you to take a few more pictures. Here's a list. They're all things that are special to Waverly Academy somehow. Iconic, I guess you'd say. They can all be found on the school grounds. The only one that might be a little problematic is the picture of Rita Hollowell and her cat. She was one of Waverly's founding teachers. There's a couple of references to the picture in the school records, but it hasn't been seen in eons. But if you can find it, and I can get a photo of that photo up on the website, it would be such an incredible coup that it might even put me back in the running for valedictorian. I'll give it my best shot.
Upload them like before. I'll check them when they're up. And if I see any problems, I'll leave a note for you on the page. Come back to me when you're done. Guess I'd better get to work. Bye. That's not very nice. But then gossip seldom is. Come on in. It's not true, if that's what you want to know. So you didn't plagiarize that paper? Of course not. I mean, I may bend the rules now and then, especially the stupid ones, but I have never cheated on a test or turned in a paper somebody else wrote, ever. Can you prove that you didn't? I'm not allowed to try. They've locked my computer account to make sure I don't mess with anything on Paper Trail. Paper Trail? Papertrail.edu. It's a website all the teachers here go to when they want to compare a paper that's been handed in with papers available on the internet. Students aren't supposed to know about it. Mrs. Arlington, that's my art history teacher, she matched my paper with something on Paper Trail. Not only is it insulting that they'd think I'd cheat, but that I'd do it in such a way that I was sure to get caught? Come on, I am not that stupid. Is it true you recently got a second note from the black cat? Yeah, I got the first note the day after Megan left. If I could just get online, I could clear all this up, but I can't, and whoever this black cat person is knows it. This is just so frustrating. Unless... Becca, look, I'm not anyone's favorite person at this school. The kids, the teachers. If I get kicked out, nobody's gonna care. But I don't deserve this, and I need help. Just before the school booted me offline, I got a glimpse of the IP address of whoever posted the paper I supposedly plagiarized. I didn't get a chance to write it down, but I do remember that none of the digits in it repeated. See if you can track it down. That's all I'm asking. Could you do that, please? Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Hunting down the facts is kind of a hobby with me anyway. Here's the paper I got back from Mrs. Arlington. Just go to the academics page on the school website and look under resources for paper trail. If you enter a data source code, it'll tell you the IP address of the person who posted the paper I allegedly stole from. Thank you, Becca. Oh man, just knowing someone's on my side is a huge relief. Anyway, what's new with you? Do you hang out with Izzy much? I don't hang out with her at all. I can't stand her. She's so fake and vacuous. It's like talking to a mannequin. How can she be vacuous and be a valedictorian candidate? You tell me, and we'll both know. Are you friends with Leela? No, although I used to be. Of course, that was in grade school, before she got caught up in sports. Now all she thinks about is competing and winning and school spirit. Stuff I just find pathetic. Do most kids like her? I'm not a fan, but everyone else? You bet. Do you think she's smart? Extremely. Which, to me, makes her descent into jockdom even sadder. I called Megan Vargas. Yeah? How is she? Not great. She really misses this place. More likely she's concerned about falling behind in her schoolwork and not making valedictorian. She thinks Izzy is the black cat. That's only because she thinks Izzy stole her boyfriend. I told Megan she was better off without the guy because anybody who'd be attracted to Izzy was obviously worthless. But she didn't take that very well. Who do you think the black cat is? I don't do conversations on that subject, remember? Especially when it's so obvious that it's Izzy. What makes it so obvious? Izzy doesn't deserve to be valedictorian, and she knows it. She also knows she'll never get into an Ivy League school unless she's valedictorian. So, she has to eliminate the competition. Do you by any chance have a library book called The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories? The one that's missing from the library? Sure don't. I've never been much into Edgar. He's a little over the top, even for me. Maybe I'll pop in again later. Sounds good.
If the date on this paper is correct, then whoever posted the paper online did so after Mel turned it in, which proves she didn't copy it. Jacob Price. I wonder if that's the same Jacob Izzy allegedly stole from Leela. Sounds like the black cat stalking Izzy. Come on in. What's the word? Was the date on your term paper the date that you turned it in? Yeah. Why? Because the paper you supposedly plagiarized wasn't online until the next day. Someone must have gotten a hold of your paper, copied it, and posted it in an attempt to make you look like a plagiarist. So all the headmistress has to do is check the dates and I'm in the clear. Oh my gosh, Becca, thank you. Thank you. So who posted it? Who tried to frame me? I, uh, I don't know for sure, but it kind of looks like Izzy may have been involved. What a surprise. Hey, I got something a newbie like you might like to read. Has some interesting information about Waverly. Thanks. You can keep it. I know everything I want to know about this place. Anything else going on? Maybe I'll pop in again later. Door's always open. What's up, Rumi? I met Leela. She was in the rec room. She's usually in the gym, either bouncing, kicking, hitting, or throwing some kind of ball. You name a sport, she's great at it. And competitive? That girl loves to win, and almost always does. Some really competitive people cheat. Does she? Probably. I mean, I can't prove it, but come on, a jock up for valedictorian? No way. Something's hinky somewhere. And speaking of hinky, she started wrapping her wrist about a week ago, but is it actually hurt? Debatable. Could she be the black cat? Well, she's here on a scholarship, so it's real hard for me to believe she's smart enough to, one, secretly be the black cat, and two, divert suspicion by faking an injury and making herself look like a victim of the black cat. But I have to admit, it is possible. Any idea where that book that's missing from the library is? Why? Are you an Edgar Allan Poe fan? I'd like to find it so I can earn some extra credits. You and me both. Unfortunately, I don't have a clue who has it. Did it go missing before or after notes from the black cat started showing up? Before. Right before, in fact. I see what you're getting at. It was called the black cat, wasn't it? That's kind of freaky. Any idea why it would be missing? Somebody must have wanted that book and not wanted anyone to know they wanted it. That's all I can figure. I'd better get going. Bye. Hasta whatever. Step right up. The snack shop is open. A teacher order. I've got to get this one done fast. If I'm fast enough, I can earn a credit. Too slow, and I'll get a demerit.
Order up! Okay, everybody. Snack shop's open. And the next thing I knew, Mr. Harris was calling me up to his desk. Oh my gosh, I love when that happens. It lets you get a really, really good whiff of his aftershave. Orders, come get your order. Food's ready. There, all done. can't leave yet. There are still too many strange things going on here.
Hey, what's going on? Is it true you're here on a scholarship? That's right. Athletic. Full ride. Although I have to maintain a pretty high grade point average in order to keep it. Luckily for me, that's not a problem. What would happen if you got injured and couldn't play sports for the rest of the year? They'd probably pull my scholarship, so not only would I not be valedictorian, I wouldn't even be able to graduate, which would really shoot holes in my future. So if I get injured again and I find out it's this black cat person's fault, believe me, she's gonna wind up injured too. Would it be okay if you weren't the valedictorian? It'd be okay with the school, but it sure wouldn't be okay with me. No matter what I'm competing in, I always play to win. The nice thing is, I usually do. I'll let you go. Hit him hard. How's it going? Is it true you just got a second note from the black cat? No, I'm pretty sure the note I got was from Leela. It was a lame attempt to get even with me for stealing her stupid boyfriend. May I see it? Sorry, I did the same thing to it that I did to the first note. Burned it. What do you think about Mel and that plagiarism charge? I'm not surprised. Like I said, she's psycho. She wouldn't think twice about doing something like that. Apparently someone named Jacob Price tried to make it look like Mel plagiarized her own paper. You mean Jacob framed her? Yeah, right. Or maybe the black cat framed her. More likely, Mel did something to make it look like she was framed. Maybe she's trying to frame Jacob. And let's not forget one other thing. Until very, very recently, Jacob was Leela's boyfriend. You want to point fingers? Maybe you should start with my roommate. Thanks for all the advice. No prob. Looks like I need a key.